Welcome to Little Dojo. Today we're going to be talking about Gankaku Dach, the crane stance. Now you'll find this in Katarempi and all it is is about tucking your foot behind the knee. Um, we talk about shelves in, in Little Dojo, do you know what I mean? You've got your shelf there, your chin, under your nose, your eyebrows. Now you've got something to sit on behind there. In the kata, you'll come across, you look at the hand, the hand's up there, and then you go into Gankaku that so the leg rises up, but goes behind to there, and you smack it, slam it to there. That is Gankaku Dach. So the leg is behind, and it's sitting on the calf muscle. Right, so this stance, it's a water stance in five elements. Um, if you're fighting somebody and you can see that they're coming in with certain techniques, this, this stance is a water stance. Just think of a crane standing in water. Now, we, we can use this stance to get into, yeah, for your balance, and you can keep that balance and you can keep there as long as you can. Count to five seconds, 10 seconds, keep adding a few more seconds each time. Keep solid, keep this leg bend that you stood on, keep it bent for your balance. Now, it's not just for a balance, uh, balancing technique, yeah? You wouldn't just keep there into a stance and fight somebody like that. It's a transitional stance as well. So if you come up, obviously the knees come up so you could be striking somebody and then you'd want to get from there striking, yeah? Or moving from there, stepping up. That's Gankakudach, crane stance. Milo Dojo, crazy blind man. Bonsai!